Hello, and what is going on today, guys? Tomcat here, and today, we're back in spin tires on the Backwoods Mud on the Rocks level. And what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys a rock traction fix and how it works. And I'm also going to be linking it down in the description below because I know a lot of people have had problems with uh, rock traction in spin tires. Rock traction has been a big issue ever since that last update. And there's been, there's been updates like Spin Tires Plus that have helped out with the dirt traction, but not a lot of, uh, not a lot of fixes for rock traction. So we're going to try out some actual rock trails, uh, some rock focused trails. And we're going to see how this uh, Ram 2500 does after the rock traction fix. We're also going to take the Rattle Trap Jeep out um, and see how it does. I've also got a BMW M4 on this level. I'm not sure why I spawned that in. Um, I kind of just did for fun just to see um, if it worked. And I guess it's like, I mean, it's here, so it works. I just haven't decided if I'm going to use it yet. Like, number one. And number two, I haven't really decided what I'm going to use it for. <laughs> but, oh god. Are we already we're wedged on something? I mean, it's definitely getting more rock traction because it's actually sticking in the back, but it's not like... I mean, it's not spinning, it's just having a hard time going anywhere. Probably because the overhang on the front is so low with the bumper. That's why I like the pre-runner style bumpers where they really just tuck everything up and they just kind of... they they... They tuck the actual front of the bumper up under the under like a skid plate, and then they leave the sides of the bumper free and open, so you have space for your you know for your tires to be the first thing that hits. Effectively eliminating as much front overhang as possible, which is what you want. Come on, it's like you can see it it trying to grab traction way more than it used to. Like it's actually like it's not just spinning, right? It's it's actually sitting there grabbing traction. It, you just have to find a spot at which it actually works. And the thing is, you have to kind of fight, like with a truck like this, you have to fight the fact that it's got massive bumpers that stick out really far, but on other vehicles like the Rattle Trap Jeep, I don't think that'll be as much of an issue. Um, and even with the Rock Bouncers, I mean, I, I feel like the Rock Bouncers are going to be great with this update, but even, you know, even with a pickup truck like this, we're already seeing massive differences in rock traction. And the thing is, it's actually kind of, kind of realistic. I mean, it's not, it's definitely not perfectly realistic, but it's more realistic than it was because, I mean, you see all the rock obstacles out in places like Moab. I mean, you can get traction on rocks. I mean, traction on rocks is actually, uh, is actually sometimes more doable than traction on mud or dirt. It's just spin tires didn't really simulate that very accurately after the update, and this rock traction fix puts it back in and fixes it and really makes it a lot more user friendly and a lot more uh, just a lot more usable to the player now i feel like we're either stuck on something like it like an axle or we're having just an issue otherwise altogether come on there you go let's get right up over that tree the nice thing is now those rocks are not slipping points. They're 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 grip points. Like you want to aim for them now. This grip fix helps so much. I mean, you just crawl right up. You really do just crawl right up these rocks, and it's so nice. A little little uh, little bit of a lean going on, but <laughs> come on, there you go. And sometimes, yes, the motions of the axles are a little jerky. I mean, if you if you were doing that kind of axle motion over and over again, it, uh, you know, in real life, there's a pretty good chance you'd probably break an axle shaft, depending on what kind of axles you had. Um, but even so, it does kind of offer a little bit more of a realistic approach to it. And I think that's a, that's a good thing. And considering the fact that we're in the, you know, we're in the, um, the standard RAM, this one's probably got like 37s, I would say, maybe 37s on it, and it's, well, maybe 40s, maybe, and it's doing way better than that six-door RAM on what was at least like 50-something inch tires. So, I mean, at the end of the day, this does really well, comparatively speaking. I mean, this is already further along than the six-door ever got. While ha actually, while having a much easier time of it. 
So yeah, I'm I'm extremely impressed. I actually don't even know where this trail comes out. I kind of want to finish it now. Now that I've gotten like you know number one, now that I've gotten decently far on it, and now that I know that I can actually get you know that I can get some traction on these rocks and and kind of proceed. It's just getting so gnarly. I feel like we need something a little bit more um, suited to this kind of thing. I mean, not necessarily that this truck isn't suited to this kind of thing. It's just not set up the way I would like it to be set up. I mean, the overhangs are too long, and it's just not the proper uh, the proper setup for me anyway. That, and we probably would have torn up a lot of bodywork and a lot of axles by now. That's not a good situation. We're actually, like, sitting on the front bumper. So I'm going to try the Rattletrap Jeep now. Uh, the BMW M4. I'm going to drive it around a little bit, see what it's like. Uh, so it drives... Like a BMW? Um, I mean, it's cool. It's... Oh, God. That didn't last long. <laughs> All right, go! It's actually got a lot of camber, like, and kind of past track camber. It's a little bit more stancy, stan, stancy, stance nation camber. It drifts though. Ah, look at that! I dare not take it rock crawling though. It would not do well. I feel like we should maybe take this to one of the race maps. It'd be fun. And also, because of the fact that I've never actually found out where this paved road actually goes past this point, so... We'll go ahead and find out, so we've got a BMW M4, we may as well, right? There's trees in the road! Ooh! The BMW doesn't like it! Or at least it didn't. Oh god, this is gonna be a jump. Uh-oh, oh no. Oh, boing! <laughs> hey, it went better than expected. I thought the game was gonna freeze and die. It's like, please no. Please no. Oh, God. Ooh. Wow. It, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Okay, another frame hang up. Not even frames. That was like just, that was like the map loading. Not only that, but I feel like this map is actually a lot bigger than, ah, uh, it's loading again. Jeez. But, like, the map is way bigger than I've ever even, you know, I've I've seen, like, maybe less than a quarter of this map. Maybe. I, you know, I, I, I haven't seen all that much of it. And what? Oh, my God. Oh, an off-road park. That is amazing. That is amazing. Okay, um, BMW versus off-road park. Make this happen. BMW sunk in mud. It's... <laughs> Dude, we gotta bring the other, tr uh, like, the Ram and the Jeep here. Look at that. I didn't even look on the map. It's, like, just an off-road park. Just sitting there. That's super cool. Okay, that's super cool. So where the Ram is, it's still got a hell of a lot of rocks to climb through. It Then it gets to here, and it's got an option to go that way or straight that way. And then it's got trails. Yeah, I haven't even barely seen a bit of this map yet. Time for the rattle trap. Come on! I will say that the rattle trap Jeep with the rock traction fix is gotta like it's gonna demolish. It's gonna be it's gonna be just like like I'm just gonna say it's just gonna be like stupid grip. It's gonna be on a whole nother level of 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 just make them dumb. <laughs> it's gonna be so dumb grippy, it's gonna be like God freaking ridiculous. Not going that way. I want to go to the off-road park, but I'm going to take a little detour along the way. Not this detour, though. Uh, should I take that detour? Uh, actually, technically, we can get to the... You know what? We can get to the off-road park from there. So, screw it. I'm taking it. Not the right way. <laughs> At all. Okay, come on. Not bad. Oh, God. 
A little bit of iffy situation there, but oh yeah, the rock traction is so much better. God, the rock traction fix comes through so well. Oh my god. That is beautiful. Let's see if automatic works here, if we just sink. No, it works decently well. Stick it in high. Just run with it. God, even when the even when you're in the mud, this thing just digs with these boggers. It abs oh god, now it really digs. <laughs> Too much. Low two. I'm guessing low two is about all I can like actually use this thing for right now. Because it's like, um, yeah, low two is the thing. <laughs> low two is now the thing. Go, go, go. You know what? Yeah. Just because I'm impatient, I'm going to go around the mud hole. Because I really want to try that off-road park area. It looks like so much fun. And since we bypassed this when we were in the BMW, we'll actually go ahead and try it now that we're in rattle, rattle trap. And Rattle Trap has sunk. Rattle Trap be doomed. God, that's some thick mud. I mean, even in low two, it's just like, it's just, I mean, it's chugging along, but at the same time, I mean, look at that. Look at those damn ruts. That's ridiculous. Use that stump. Well, I was going to climb up on the stump, but it just broke, so... We won't be doing any climbing on it, I guess. Oh, now that... Aw. Oh, come on. That was going to be a cool flex shot. It was. It was going to be a cool flex shot. It's just like... Why? Why you no flex shot, bruh? These trails are fun. They just have too many trees on them. I mean, the damn trees just get in the way. The ones, at least, the ones that have, like, fallen across the trail. It's like a lot of the trails that you'll do in real life will not be covered in trees and stumps. That's the thing. I mean, some of them will, yes, absolutely, but not all of them. Uh-oh. Not again. Okay, this mud is officially annoying. Like, really annoying. Okay, I'm chugging at, like, the bottom of low two. It's, it's like, it's, <laughs> it's so freaking frustrating. I, I got, oh my god! Um, all I'm seeing is the ripples of a light bar <laughs> about to come out of the water. And it's out. We just did, hey, it's a Jeep with a Cummins in it that just drove underwater. We just did the same thing that Fred did in the latest episode of Dirt Every Day. That's the exact same thing. We just did it. So, uh, I don't know. I can't really say, <laughs> I can't really say top that Fred because he will. He'll, he'll, he'll go and figure some way how to do it. He'll find, like, some, some of, like, fabricator friends or something to help him build something insane. Uh, but, dude, I, I, I love that show. I, I think Fred does an awesome job with it. I don't know if you guys saw the latest episode of Dirt Every Day, but, like, dude, they, they 4BT come and swap to TJ. And they drove the damn thing underwater. I mean, how do you even, like, come up with the idea to do that? And not, first of all, how do you not come up with the idea to do that and then be like, Hi, I'm insane and crazy and a certified lunatic. And not have everybody else look at you that way. And then, like, actually go and do it. That's, that's legit. I mean, <laughs> it's just so awesome and so cool. Oh my god, that's dumb. I'm not even gonna try. Oh, I mean, we could do it. The Jeep could do it. It's just, like, it would be a pain in the ass because it would be just chugging along in mud again. Where's the freaking, like, off-road area? Okay, we're almost there. Come on, Rattle Trap! Got this. Oh yeah, right there. And speaking of 
ways to make an entrance. Power! Oh, yes! <laughs> Mud everywhere. Now, this would be fun in multiplayer to just, like, to literally just to bomb around in here with your friends. Like, oh my god, I need, need, need to get on here with Caleb and, and, and even, like, uh, even Billy. Like, when we did it in the last, like, a few episodes ago. Because those were fun episodes, man. I mean, and, like... Doing it out here would be so freaking amazing. Like, out here with the six doors. Oh, my God. Okay, so I've just come up with an idea for an episode that we need to do. And I'm going to go see if I can make that episode happen by, like, literally calling and texting them over and over and over again. But if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys enjoyed.